Uh, my name is Dr. Vinay Samuel Gaikwad. I am the uh, Director of Surgical Oncology at CK Birla Hospital in Gurgaon. Uh, we are going to talk about pancreatic uh, neuroendocrine tumors and the difference between pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors and pancreatic cancer. We get a lot of queries uh, regarding the differences between a neuroendocrine tumor and adenocarcinoma which is otherwise known as cancer. So the first thing we have to understand is all endocrine tumors are not cancers. Uh, there are three grades of neuroendocrine tumors. The first two, grade one and two, are usually well behaving and not cancerous. So they call tumors and not cancers. But the grade three behaves more like a cancer. So the cure rates and the survival of patients with uh, early or low grade neuroendocrine tumors are much better and the prognosis is good. The treatment options also are very vast. So there's uh, surgical options. So we are very aggressive when planning surgery for uh, low grade uh, pancreatic NETs or neuroendocrine tumors. Uh, surgeries to remove the pancreas, even if they're liver metastasis or other metastasis, we do uh, perform operations if we can remove at least 90 or 95 percent of the total tumor bulk. There are other treatment options like targeted therapy with uh, sunitinib or evrolimus, uh, that sandostatin or somatostatin uh, analogs that can be given, which is an injection that is given once in a month. Uh, there are also what's called PRRT or peptide therapy, uh, which is very effective now, which is done by uh, nuclear medicine physicians. There are also liver directed therapies that we can use like radio frequency ablation, microwave ablation and so on. So there are multiple options, pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors, uh, including liver transplants if uh, there's liver metastasis and the other criteria are met. Pancreatic, uh, grade 3 pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors or cancers can be more difficult to treat uh, with chemotherapy and the prognosis is not so good. So the, the way to approach a pancreatic NET is quite different than how we approach a cancer. Uh, even the investigations like a Dotonox gallium PET scan is done for low grade tumors and um, a FDG or a normal PET scan is done for cancers. So uh, the take home message is to understand that neuroendocrine tumors and pancreatic cancers are quite different from each other. The, the tests that are done and the treatment that is done is very different and even the overall survival and the outcomes are very different for uh, NETs and cancers. So I hope that information has been helpful.